<laughs> oh, and the audio quits when it loses focus, so you guys can tell when I'm uh, looking at chats. Waiting on this event to start, it'll be another six minutes, seven minutes. voice up over the game volume a little bit there we go i got it this is the first time i've actually gotten it to stream even so i'm gonna call it a win even though i, I don't have uh everything sorted out yet need supplies here we do to get supplies fights I always wonder I mean it sort of it does the thing to level the playing field I feel like that generating a large amount of hate is not my best thing ever I don't I don't think pandemonium is a better choice than that let's see here Uses 
five. Bullshit only uses two. It's got a 20 second cooldown. Schism just doesn't do that much. Let's do a Let's switch to break down there. I'm not going to completely change builds. I think most of what I got going on here is useful. Fifty frames a second in Agartha with all of this shenanigans here going on, so that's not terrible. talked with my, my wife for a second about some stuff. We got one minute before this thing goes. It's open. Let's get in there. All right. So we'll load in here. We're just going to start taking this guy down and see if anybody's broken out wings yet. I figured 
most of the people who are doing this, there's a lot of almost nothing but 50s in here, so most people will already know, but um, your wings only affect a mob once every 10 minutes, like they get, or they get like a 10 minute immunity period. No, I haven't fought this one yet. Nice. He's gonna do some bad stuff. Here. into that many players because everything is heavily instanced. Uh, but then when you come in here, uh, and you see when they'll let you have uh, I think Agartha is capped at 100 players. Uh, but there are actually quite a, people, quite a few people playing. Um, it's just it's set up to, to be sort of moody and atmospheric. Not, not a have you running around with tons of players in the same instance, which is kind of good in a way, because um, it adds to the atmosphere. It also keeps you from sort of stepping on other people's objectives, uh, having people ruin your quest by interacting with uh, items. I'm a little bit negligent in my charm to my abilities here. Hardly matters though, because there's just a whole bunch of this whale on this guy. is cool looking. my daily reward earlier today. I'll do that. Oh, I got a, myself a thousand distillate. It's going to use this furious guy. Oh no, I'm talking to myself. The grammar club is in my chat. <laughs> Okay, so we'll go back to Agartha there. And then I'm gonna 
kind of go through. Uh, oh, I saw this girl earlier with a cool tie dye shirt. It's kind of a neat outfit. Oh man, this girl's got this red honeycomb thing. That's cool. I like this honeycomb coat too. I've got that BT. I'm gonna go look at look at my clothes in a second and see what all I got. But first, let's uh do some maintenance here. It's, uh, So the way this works, um, for anybody that isn't aware of how these these work in Secret World, um, let's see. I just really wanted my machete back. That's why I got that. Um, you can use any weapon or item to upgrade other items, uh, but you get more for doing matching items. Uh, Distillates can be used, like your talisman distillates can be used to upgrade any of the talismans. Your weapon distillates can be used to upgrade any weapons. Um, I've been working on getting this blade up, so I'm going to assemble that. And that was the fourth one of those I did today. So I ended up completing one of my challenge journals. Uh, completing these challenges, doing a certain number of missions, uh, item empowerments will earn you these marks of favor uh, which you can use as it says in the auction house you can use uh, to buy stuff um, the way they've kind of sorted you've got this uh, astral shards here these are the currency that you use to do stuff and these are the currency that you use to buy stuff it's sort of loosely how it's arranged uh, anyway you can earn these by just completing quests, uh, missions as they're called. Um, you earn these by completing challenges. And there's kind of a cap on how many of those you're going to be able to pick up in a day. You can also exchange them for the, the Aurum, which is the real money currency. Uh, I have not had much of a need for Aurum. So far the only thing I've bought was uh, my Sprint 5. Everything else I've been able to get just with in-game money. I haven't had, to, I haven't had, and even the arm I didn't have to buy with real money. I just was able to grind marks until I could get enough. Okay, let's do that. Um, now, once once these guys get up to the max level, uh, the purples. I'm not actually sure what their max level is. Green green weapons. Uh, will have a max level of 20. Your blue weapons will have a max level of 25. So once I get this blade up to level 25, then what I need to do is get another blade up to level 25 and then combine them. So you take a 25 here, another 25 here, and you get the next color. So it's a pretty, pretty sensible crafting system as crafting systems go in MMOs. Uh, got a lot of flowers now. Let's drop some flowers at my feet. Alright, so let's uh yeah let's check out this dressing room here for a minute. I got I was hoping to get the, the the cool bee jacket, but I have not. Um, this thing, I'm not sure what quest gave me this, but I love it so much. Um, I did get the uh, the BT and the B logo sweater, uh, so I got I got those, but I haven't picked up any of the other anniversary stuff. Um, do have some other things. I think I'm gonna switch here and go to a. Uh, we're just gonna switch into full dad mode, as it were. Go health and leggings. Perfect. Um, just gonna go cargo shorts. Flip flops. There we 
go. That's about as that's about as dad mode as you're gonna get right there. Oh come on. Go away, inventory. <laughs> okay, and I think I'm gonna run through a couple quests here in Eden to finish out. So I need to do one more main mission. Uh, I need to do three side missions uh, and 50 monster kills to get all of my marks for the day. Um, and I ran a bunch of stuff in Kingsmith the other day. So most of those are going to be on cooldown. Uh, they also don't give you as much XP. Loading, loading, loading. Loading's good. Alright. I am going to skip some cutscenes here just to, uh, I don't know if anybody who's going to watch this is going to care about spoilers or not, but we'll just skip past that, and we will do, yeah, we'll do the supply run. I do not want to do headhunter, it involves too much running around and climbing. Okay, so let's switch builds here, uh, we'll go with... That one will work the best for this. Um, so my main build, th the build that I'm using here right now, is uh, an, a an AOE using pistols and chaos. Um, I'll, use a, I'll use a different build. <coughs> I was using pistols and chaos before in that, b that big boss fight, um, but it was all single target. So more concentrated fire. So what I need to do for this quest is I have to go to these suburbs. And then I have to just commit a lot of murders, apparently. That's, that's the thing. Uh, I'm going to shoot that from a distance. Wow, that was, uh, I thought I would have to hit them more than, more than once. Um, These guys, I, those I knew I was going to take down. And, uh, let's see here. So I've got a couple quests going. Let me pull up the tracker here. So supply run two. I need to pick up uh, gasoline, water, and food um, for this siege quest. I have got to clear the area of uh, inducted villagers and cultists, and then kill the cult leader in the area. So, I don't know if I've ever found that can of gas before. Let's run back here and take out. Pick this stuff up, take out these guys up on top. done with gasoline here. I'll just leave it laying all over the place. Oh, one of my agents is back too. It's uh went derpy. Um when you're playing th this area at level, those barrels are useful. To help take out some guys. Um, open myself to you. But myself open to you. for me, they're just going to be a nuisance. Oh, he's still alive. Not anymore. I 
it's really kind of kind of irritating when you shoot the barrel and it blasts you back across the map. Get their attention, your attention. Okay, I got uh, one more cultist, huh? They're villagers. And you can see nothing's going to aggro on me because I'm over level for the area. I'm just doing this to get XP and farm for marks of favor. So here's my leader for the area. Throw him on the ground real quick. And then face. There he's gone now. Oh, nice of you to show up. A little late. The uh, the revenant that just popped up comes out of my guns. A lot of people don't like these guns. They were a reward for an alternate reality game, augmented reality game. I think that's augmented. I think is right. Um, okay, completed. Find water. We need one more cultist. Hey, look, cultist. Okay, so let's double check my other quest here. Uh, find food. Okay, so I gotta go to the bridge and I gotta find food. Switch to that. All of the food is across the bridge. I don't care about you guys at all. I just care about you. Okay, so now I gotta clear this next area. Special cultists. assignment received. Initializing. And I also have a kill a dozen inducted villagers quest, which is just a location side quest. Hi, how's it going? I just shoot you in the face a couple times there. Uh, delicious foods. You have to be careful in this quest. Some of the food is contaminated with filth. Filth is a important plot element in this game. Uh, how's it going? Could you, uh, could you have a lie down for a second? Uh, lie down again. There. So that food is tasty. And that food is tasty. I believe there was some food over here that is not tasty. See it, the exuding gross stuff there. So don't don't pick that food up. It's not good. Uh, villagers, hi villagers. And, uh, they're dead now. Sure would be cool if I could move. There we go. I need at least one more cultist and some villagers. Let's get your attention. Come over here. Now I gotta find the leader of the cultist attack. He should be right here. Uh, We'll just I see such darkness! Shoot Drive it away, O oh living Arten! And was that? That was uh, my three main missions for the day complete. Now you can see that gets you a thousand marks of favor. Uh, now I just need to do three side missions, uh, which. I just did a side mission. I thought, did I not? No, I didn't. I'm working on them. Okay, so I'm working on two side missions right now. Let me take out more villagers. There we go. So there's that side mission. And that must have been my 50 monster kills. These guys technically, words, they technically count as monsters. Because uh, they have been infected with the filth. They're no longer human-like. Whereas the players, you are infected with bees. 
and also no longer human-like. Stop blinking at me. Um, deliver supplies to the cafe. Let's do that. And it's weird, I've noticed um, between the Secret World and then Secret World Legends, I don't know if the map here has changed, but I, in the old game, I always was coming up from here. Like, I, it seemed like I would come into the city and I would just find myself always pathing this direction and coming up to this cafe from here. But in the new game, I always come up from the other side, and I don't know if it's just something that I'm doing differently or if it's the result of a change in the map it's hard to tell um, okay so now I need to pick up a side mission of, of great ease I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my map here and I'm going to teleport up here and I'm gonna do not on Google Maps not on Google Maps is one of my favorite quests when I need to finish something quickly just run up north um, <coughs> if I were after monster kills I would run along murdering all of these things we got these bugs this, just, this game is just beautiful I mean, just look at that. It just... I just love all the scenery. I know it's not the only game that's beautiful, and there are more beautiful games, but, you know, I just like to stop and appreciate the, the work that went into stuff like this. Additional assignment received. There are some Initializing. More. More quests. You know, I could just kill three gen and be done. Uh, hey, what's up? I guess these guys are just independently fighting. They don't care what you're doing. They're, just, they're gonna fight each other. Um, so, my quest is go north in the temple. So I'm gonna go north. Running in the deep sand and you gotta keep going. It doesn't rhyme with sand as much as it does with snow, does it? I guess. Uh, da -da -da. <coughs> Let's turn that back up a little more. Come back to the game. And the next part of this quest is to find these people over here. Where'd you go? There you are. And that quest is done. And there's another thousand marks. Okay. So what I did there uh, was I just... Let me open the journal again. So I did 50 monster kills. That gets you thousand marks of favor three main missions get you another thousand three side missions get you another thousand um, four item empowerments get you another thousand and then for doing all of those you get another two thousand so you get let's uh, shrink so you end up with two thousand three four five six thousand marks of favor from that top set of stuff and then these open up uh, but you notice these are not worth as much they're only worth 600 and another 600 um, when you get down here and you complete all of them you do get 1600 for that one uh, but if you're if you're crunched for time in a day when you're grinding marks to buy stuff or if you're just playing just to to acquire things uh, it's not it's not necessarily worth worth your time unless you were just gonna play it anyway so if you're if you're farming marks and you're trying to be efficient about it 
I don't know, maybe maybe you care about these, maybe you don't. Um, if you're playing the game to have fun, uh, then absolutely open this thing every once in a while and just check and see if you can uh, also get things while you're having fun. Let's close that for now. So I got all of these bags from my quests. Let's uh, some of the stuff is going to be in my way. Okay, so let's open these reward bags now. Notice, like I was saying, these green ones you can level them up to 20, and when you have two of them leveled up to 20, you can combine them and you'll get a blue thing. Uh, which is much better. Then you take your blue things, you level them up to 25, combine two of those, get a purple. Um, this one right here is three pips. So what I'm going to do is do somebody a favor. I'm going to chuck this on the auction house for 100 marks. And somebody will be very happy that they can get a three pip item for 100 marks. Um, <coughs> Just to, to kind of look, let's go to talismans here. Uh, your items, see how this has this three pips on the bottom? Uh, this one's one pip. If it has two of those, it'll be have a higher starting stats. Uh, three of them is the highest starting stat you can get. So somebody will be pleased that they got that for pretty cheap. Uh, let's just take a look. And we'll look for Radiant. Just so you can get an idea. Um, and we'll sort by price. Yeah, see? So like this Radiant Ring. Starting 95. Uh, and I put mine up for 100. When you get into really nice stuff. Uh, not just Radiant plain items. Like somebody has uh, put this Radiant Pinnacle Wrap. Notice that the inside is red that means it's going to have an additional effect which is this one that reduces the amount of self damage dealt by corruption and martyrdom by 10% so if you're if you're using uh, blood magic uh, you use corruption and martyrdom uh, as part of your part of your actions and that will reduce the effect it'll reduce how much hit point uh, it'll reduce how many hit points you give up for, for doing stuff. Um, notice how like these this radiant chain here does not have any additional effects. Um, it's a black sash. And whenever you hit an enemy who is facing towards you, they gain hate towards you. So if you're a tank, you would want something like this black sash. Because uh, anytime you smack something that's looking at you, it will aggro towards you more. So if you're if you're just getting into this game and you're looking to build characters, what you want to do is get some marks, uh, get some marks of favor, hit the auction house, and find these red these red items that are green. And what you would do is you would take this item and just feed other items to it. Uh, and then it's it will be your item for the whole game and if you change you might buy another one if you change roles like say if you had that tank item and you decide all right I want to be a healer you would look for a, an item that benefits healers um, or you would look for something that benefits your particular particular weapon set uh, However you're going to go about it, you, you want to find an item and then just start feeding stuff to it. Now, if you get an item that isn't so hot and you've been feeding things to it, it's not a waste because you can just, when you get a good item, feed that one to the good item. So it's not, you, you've never wasted your efforts is sort of the, the point. Okay. So check this out here. This is another thing I recommend doing. Uh, if I throw, that is my chaos uh, weapon, my otherworldly artifact of recovery, Mark III. Now what you'll see, if I put this assault rifle on there, it'll let me use it. Uh, it's going to give it 
100 XP. So let's let's see here though. If I take my pendant. Now if I take my pendant here and I put these dice up here. It will let me do that and they'll give it 100 XP. But if I use another pendant, it'll give it 250. Now you can load all of these up. But see how this if you do six item empowerments, I'm going to get 600 marks of favor for free or for doing something I was going to do anyway. So what I'll do is instead of doing those all in one shot, I'll do one, two, three, four of them. I got a fifth one here. And notice how each one of those is giving it 250. So when you're first leveling up, and you can only equip a couple of these pieces of gear, sell off the ones you can't use. Sell off the ones that are mismatched. And even now, um, I'm working on my second pair of weapons. I've been doing, I've played through all the way to 50 and through most of the story <clears throat> with my chaos and pistols, but I'm also doing this blade and elemental. Um, these assault rifles and these uh, fist weapons, I got no use for those at all. So I'll show you in a second what I'm going to do with them. See how that gives me 250. Now, I could, if I wanted, um, I could toss those in and get 100 XP for my weapon. But instead of doing that, I'm going to take them over to this apothecary. And we're going to sell them. Um, so notice I'm going to get 250 anima shards out of that. Now, every time I did one of those upgrades, it cost me anima shards. So I need a supply of them. Uh, so I'm going to sell these. Now, something worth noting, the easy way to sell things, like I don't like doing it from the list. It confuses me. See how I've got everything lined up here? If you right click, you will sell those like that. Uh, I'm also going to sell off both of these glyphs because I'm not currently upgrading any glyphs. Uh, should be, but I'm not. So anyway, that's there. And this, we happen to be in my least favorite zone in the game. Um, I hate it less in Legends than I did in the, uh, the old game. Uh, because they've added some platforms, but man, this this zone is just not my favorite to navigate. Okay, so let's go back to Agartha for a minute. We'll just teleport there since it's free. It looks like we got, yeah, about 25 minutes before that, the next one of those golems pops up. Let's see here. Okay. I love the crazy variety of outfits you get in this game. Let's run over here. I'm going to check real quick on my agent who came back. P. Okay. Mission successful, and I got some stuff for that. I'm not going to talk real in depth right now. Uh, about the agents and their missions. Um, I'm just going to look for something. Does that say it gets... You get eight ammo out of that? Well, okay. None of my agents are remotely likely to complete that mission, so... <laughs> uh, okay, that one... Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. For some reason, it seems like assets are really easy to pick up and intel and supplies are not, so we'll send Thomas out for that. Um, one thing I will talk about when you get to the point where you have agents, you want to level them up. Uh, the recruit here, uh, she's giving me recruits tenacity, so I get an extra thousand points of protection and an extra almost thousand hit points, so she's helpful. 
All right, uh, let's uh. I don't feel like getting pinatas right now. Yeah, it's gonna be a little while. So let's check here. Uh, if I click on unowned, there it's gonna show me stuff that I don't have. So the way you get things in this game, you go to your dressing room here, and you can buy things. Notice this one costs Aram which is the you gotta exchange real money or exchange marks for it um, this one comes from completing an achievement that one's arm there are a lot of them that you can a lot of things you can buy for either not very much arm uh, which this is you know if you're gonna have a game where you're doing microtransactions have lots and lots of dress up options because people like to play dress up man but notice this brain cap here in various colors um, you can see how it looks there this one you can buy for marks lots of things you can buy for marks of favor so you can exchange things for other things that's pretty cool. I wonder why it's showing me some of the things and not others. Like why did it put the brain hat on? Wizard hat's cool. I guess uh, maybe it's showing you things like if you if you could buy them, perhaps. That's fedora. Fifteen thousand marks of favor for a fez. I may do it anyway sometime. Oh. Well, that's ill-fitting, unfortunately. Um. Next pumpkin head. Oh, that's from Whispering Tide. dad mode today um, curious if I can find this uh, this coat from the event yeah that's the one I want oh okay you have to get that from one of the caches that's pretty groovy You also get uniforms in this. Da, da, da. Oh, well, I have to get that at some point. Yes, they have a mankini in this game. It is a thing you can get. I 
I don't know. Um, they show an achievement for this Panoptic Core, but I don't know if you can can still get that in, in this game. And I, apparently you can. Uh, the way you had to get that in the old game is you had to get every single ability unlocked. Alright, well, let's, let's stop doing that. Come on, let me run. Um, okay, we got like 17 minutes here. Closer to finishing this up. Not sure what just happened. There we go. Okay, so I only have one more ability in swords. I've got all of my pistols unlocked. I've got all of my chaos unlocked. Plus, I did a. I haven't did the capstone. That was 40 AP uh, on guns. I did, I've not done any capstones on Chaos, but I've done all my elemental abilities. I'm just about to finish my sword. Um, if you owned the old game, one of the nice benefits is that you start out with all of these unlocked. Um, so if you're wondering like, oh geez, all of these are open. Um, when you first start the game new, uh, you will only have the two pages unlocked for the your main your main weapon and your off weapon, and you can then later purchase the additional weapons. Um, it seems like kind of a an onerous sort of a thing, but by the time by the time you get to where you've filled out two whole pages of weapon stuff, you will have access to plenty of marks to purchase more. Um, and even then, the, these passive skills are what, what murders you. Uh, so, I mean, I still haven't finished out my main weapon yet. I really should. I should definitely... Uh, yeah, I should be working on getting that Royal Flush, because I use All In uh, in one of my builds. Ugh, sh I should have done that before wasting points and swords. Um, problem is like in order for a weapon to be useful at all you gotta start dumping points into this stuff alright uh, what do we got here five main missions five side missions let's uh let's run over to Kingsmith real quick I'm not, I'm not just gonna stand here for 15 minutes um. I want to do the black house real quick. I think I do want to do the black house real quick. that and I'm just gonna hook it over here special assignment received initializing oh, there's a side quest huh that's it 12 undead islanders let's uh How on earth 
Have I never picked that up? Oh my gosh. Is there... Hi guys. Over here. Alright, well there's a side quest. Several monsters killed. I'm going to again skip the spoilers. Um, let's see if I can manage this. There's an achievement for doing this in two minutes. I don't think I'm gonna get it yet. I've been, I've done it a couple times. Like I've done the quest a couple times, kind of practicing. But okay, so first I gotta find the thing on this floor. And I really need to memorize these locations because that's what that's what kills me. Escape. Okay. Now I gotta find the thing upstairs. Find the stairs. Oh gosh. I'm not as good at this as I should be at all. Went in the wrong room. Sleep. Okay, try to leave and fail. Okay, jump down. Let's go the rest of the way down basement. Man, I gotta find some stuff. I, I don't know if you even need to do the candle or not. I think you can just do the will. That thing. Obviously all of that text and stuff is uh, real cool to read. Um, okay, we gotta come out here, try to pick this up and fail. Now I can pick up the ashes. I only Quick have 15 updated. seconds. There's no way I'm going to get there in time. Even if I do this. I've got 8 seconds to... Uh, there's just no way. I wonder if teleporting cheats anyway. It doesn't cheat. No, oh, so close this time. Where exactly does it want me to go? Okay. Teleporting is definitely faster than just running there. But then you gotta dump the ashes in the river as well. Okay. Let's turn in my missions. Okay. What time have we got? Nine minutes. Okay. Let's uh run up here to Agartha and pick up this visual tracking initiated all of these tracks This area was so, that Black Goat Woods was so bad in the old game. Like, you would you would get one thing to aggro you, and it would just wake up, like, dozens more things. It was so easy to get, just get the whole area piled on top of you. Kill the Wendigo Headhunter. Oh, hi. How's it going? And that was the whole thing. Okay. 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 
probably do the corpse burning quest as well just to pick up another real quick one before I head back to Agartha and wait. Hello. Burn corpses. There's one. There's another. There's oh. a freebie. Eating a corpse up there? Yeah. One more. Alright. Let's turn those quests in real quick. Send somebody away for a while. Oh, it's gonna get me some distillates. All right, Martin, let's send you. And uh, teleport. Oh, I can't teleport back to Agartha yet. That's okay. We can run. Be a good way to stretch the legs for a couple minutes. I can't believe I never picked up that legend that was in there. How did I miss that? I've been through here so many times. This uh, Savage Coast is one of my favorite areas in the game. Um, where am I going? What am I doing? go inside the rock. There we go. Yeah, it's just a, a whole area. It's uh, it's sort of when you first realize that the game is big. Because uh, you start out in the first the first zone, uh, Kingsmith Town. Feels like, oh, this is cool. It's a nice game. You know, there's plenty of room to run around. Lots of stuff to do. Uh, but then when you when you finally get out of there and you get into the coast, the second zone, it really does kind of hit you. You look at the map and you're like, oh, wow, this place is, this place is rather large. Uh, then you get to Blue Mountain and it just keeps, keeps being large. Oh, everyone's naked apparently. I should... Uh, Avert my eyes momentarily. It's just mannequins everywhere. See it? Oh, we got some clothes. We're loading up some textures. Uh, it's a thing that happens sometimes during events when there are lots of people. So you, you run in and it's just a nudist colony. Suppose got six minutes these uh these giant golems they pop the two minutes after the top of every hour I'm gonna get more flares I'm sure these uh some of these pinatas contain candy and uh, there are three types and you get an achievement for eating all three types but of course they're completely random which ones you're gonna get so yeah, I picked up some more flares. Let's just add that there. And then the two types of candy I already had. I really should uh get rid of at least one of those.
take out this bee pinata again, see if it drops a different candy. Nice zebra that guy's got. That is super cool. The sparkly thing that I'm doing is uh, the thing you can only do if you own the old game. Oh, that person had the old game and is also a Templar as well. So you got a Temple Cat. Uh, that was a that was a pet you could only get in the old game as a Templar. <laughs> close to but I keep firing them in there anyway oh there's the uh, now something I could do here is uh, I believe I turned them down a little yeah, I turned it down quite a bit, actually. Let's see. It's the best way to hold it, except for this stuff that I don't like. Alright. So I'm absolutely not going to be getting quite as amazing frame rates as I would get. Oh, it's a uh, green party girl that's shooting off flares. It's amazing to me just the variety of things people will come up with. I feel like this guy is Ty's eventual state, like where his character would end up. <laughs> recognizing a lot of names seeing people running around but yeah like this guy here that's like a super I mean this is a level 50 dude right and he's running around with like a super early easy to get outfit um, like I'm level 50 got my wings and everything played all the quests and I'm running around in dad mode then you get that that gal with her hoverboard This should be taken over very soon. So cool. Is that, is that a mask or is that just hair? Anyway, it's just that I love how much they let you do with this. Oh, yeah, it's open. I do wish there was more customization, like, in the actual character, like, in your face, in your body. Um, I think they, they may be, because of the, the massive, massive amount of other customi customizable clothing and stuff, that might be part of why they aren't able to get away with some of, some of the, the different body shape sort of things you can do in other games. Because even, even with having a pretty limited set, uh, you'll still see texture clipping and stuff. Okay, so at the start of the stream, I played through one of these fights with the graphics all the way down. And so now we can see how pretty it's going to be with everything cranked up. It's also going to lag a little bit. Oh, 
nudging up against 30. Um, boy, the first, the, the original game, before Secret World by Secret World, I played that mostly on the laptop. And I played most of the game at like 20 frames per second just because the story is so good. Um, and it's like, man, I just I want to play this game. Uh, I want to read all of the stuff, I want to see all the voice acting, all the cutscenes. I mean, it was fantastic. Oh. I felt not unhappy about playing through the entire thing again with the new game. Uh, I, there are things that I missed about the old game, but you know, one of playing through the story again was not not one of the things I was upset about. Uh, and it kind of cracked me up a little bit when you hear people complain, like, "Oh, I'm gonna have to start over from scratch and do everything again." Uh, when simultaneously one of the biggest gripes about the old game was people complaining that you can't repeat the story mode. Like, I get it, it sucks when you lose all of your gear and all the kill levels. Uh, but at the same time, you've been complaining for ages and you couldn't play through the story again. Uh, I guess, you know, you could have played through the story again with a new character. Upset that they had had to again go with the character to play through the story, but now they finally have more story. Hopefully, they'll keep continuing to add more content. flowers. Oh, I see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to combine those. For some reason I just never read that, but I got enough to make myself three of the little critters. I'm going to assume Nope. Not that way. Just double click. Okay. Shame of concrete. Shame of sand. Get silver. Silver was cool. Play. I'm just going to have to do more fights. Okay, so do those guys show up in my oh Shift B for pets. They do show up here, okay. Shim of clay, shim of concrete. Shim of sand. Let's do his favorite one, the concrete one. Let's turn off this unowned one. Now I got my cute little concrete guy to follow me around. Look at that. Hey, what's up, concrete? Can I name him? I seem to recall being able to do that. That was a thing. Yeah. What's this now? Oh, that's new. Okay. <clears throat> that's what people were. I see. I see. We have bees attacking. They're in my face all over. Oh, they went away. Uh, okay, so I'm not, I'm not in love with that. I'm a fan of the Geist Rider. This, the Anima Dash is still my favorite. Okay.
Megaversary incoming, 29th of June to 14th of July. I guess I could go... Tokyo. I'm not sure where this dude is that I found his cap. Time to go to Tokyo. We'll fight some things in Tokyo here. Where did I sit? Oh, I sat. Sorry about that. Bad streamer. Just I'm bad at this. <laughs> Amazing reward, it says, that you'll get. It's funny, I was running around earlier talking about how pretty everything was, and I had my graphics all set to one. Um, do I need side missions? I do, I need two side missions. Can I get over here? Local bounty this? detected. Initiating. <laughs> Again, he, you sir are experiencing pathing errors. How much prettier everything is now? Who's returning?
don't look too close at my math, there might be spoilers in the comments. But there might not. But there might. But there might not. But there might. Okay. So I need to find some dude. Find his hat. Well, I found his hat. I need to return his hat. Oh yeah, let's do uh, let's do one of these. That one. Yeah, I don't need to be immutable. I don't have the correct key for that container. Okay. I have I have container keys for a lot of containers. Apparently not that one though. I think oh, that's pretty. Probably. Not good for you, but pretty. Uh, is this where I found the hat? Yeah, this is where I found the hat. I'm kind of shocked that that thing didn't aggro on me. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that Revenant. I talked about that Revenant earlier and got distracted. He comes out of my gun. Uh, and he attacks for me. Uh, and a lot of people don't like it because it's the effect that it has on the screen. I'm about to get it. Showing the door in this area. If I can only fight one or two of these guys at a time, I might be doing the chance here. I am not using the right build for this. come from? I went there a minute ago. Uh, maybe if you guys could heal me instead of hurting me. Uh, can we do that? I think we can do that. This is kind of like what I was describing happening in that uh, in uh, the Black Forest uh, in the other zone there uh, where you'll be minding your own business and the next thing you know you got like dozens of stuff attacking you. Like, I, uh, I picked a fight with one thing over here. And the next thing I knew, I had many, many things attacking me. Don't have that key. Okay, so there's where you pick up the hat. Okay, so... I've clearly only picked a fight with one thing. Is it gonna call a bunch of backup? It's gonna be cool. Additional assignment received. Initializing. I don't really want to fight these apes. What I really want to do is look at my map again. That's the apes. Okay, so somewhere in this area here, and this is ocean. Let's see if I can even get to the lower end of this zone. At the southern side here. Uh, I'm Additional assignment received. Cool Initializing. Mission. Uh, oh, hi. I uh, seem to have attracted your attention. like maybe this captain guy that I'm looking for is going to be up on this ship. I need to get up on top of this boat. 
How am I gonna make that happen? Still, many many side quests that I've not done in different zones. Uh, and oh, back to the gun and the revenant guy that I was saying. Some people don't like that gun because it shows up in the black. Uh, but when you get it, you, you got it as a reward for uh, augmented reality. There he is. Um, I like. I just, I, 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 since the first time I ran into one in Kingsman, I thought the Revenant, Revenants were really cool. Uh, they're just one of my favorite bad guys. So, uh, absolutely was going to have one on my main weapon, uh, regardless of what anybody's going to tell me. So there probably are better guns I could be using, <laughs> but I took this stupid uh, ARG reward. Leveled it all the way up to that. Or at least it's stuff in purple. It's not max level yet. I feel like I should be able to move right now. Also, that I shouldn't be dying. Why am I dying? Like, seriously, what's what's killing me? There we go. I mean, for some reason, I was just standing there losing health. I don't, I don't know what was causing it. Uh, I've had that happen a couple times in the game where I've been standing someplace where I've done a fight, finished something, and I'll just be standing there still losing health, not seeing what's doing it. Um, I don't think it's just lag. Like, that was the thing you used to see in Dungeons & Dragons Online a lot. Where stuff would, uh... You would just do so much damage over a period of time that it just couldn't keep up with something. Uh, so you would see just a, a slew of numbers, like all the numbers that are bouncing off of the... The guy would just keep going well after everything was dead. I'm tempted to run back to Egypt just so I can show how cool looking it is. You do that. You. single enemies. Well, there's got to be something up there. Right? Just look at it. that's on Q there. Uh, causes them to, to heal me. Feels like I should be on the other side of the ladder. But it looks... Uh, nope, I'm good. Oh, hi. How's it going? Check it. There's some vampires in one zone that... 
and we'll just mercilessly knock you off of the platform that he has to climb. And it is super frustrating to deal with. Oh, there's, okay, so there's the captain. I found the cap's owner. I kind of had a feeling. But... Yeah, so I'm probably not ever going to do this particular quest again. Unless it gives me just a ton of experience. Because it seems like a lot to go through. Just to, uh, for a side quest. There are some quests that you'll do over and over because either they're fun or the story is good or there's some sort of XP or some sort of benefit. This one does not seem like it was super fun. Uh, it's, how much XP is this giving me? I mean, it's giving me 5,000 XP. That's not bad return for the time. Um, let's uh, let's do something here. Okay, so the hat. Um, the hat's not showing up on my map right now because the quest is on cooldown. Oh, hey, he respawned quick. Um, I'm glad he doesn't aggro. I feel like I need to go down there and see what that's about. Oh, that's just my animal well. Okay. Actually, I need to go down here. Oh, what was I saying? Uh, it's not showing because of the quest. Hold on. fungal creatures. Count. Okay, so I need a... Uh, this guy should count, though. Oh, hi, guys. I nice see that you noticed me and stuff. got here. I've done, oh, I've done all five side missions, done 100, almost my 100 monster kills. One more main mission. I read that wrong. Need three more main missions. Stick around and fight one of the. Oh, that went down farther than I expected. But stick around and fight one of those uh, golems. I will get another main mission done. Oh man, I'm gonna be displeased <coughs> in a second. I think. Oh, I gotta get back in that mission area. Come on, climb the ladder, you. Run, run back to the mission area. Run! Don't slow walk this. Ah, oh, man. Drag. I don't get another mission out of that. We're fighting hate. Get that because I accidentally left the mission. Fell off of the boat and had to go to the ladder. So, um, will it give me the quest again? Here's the captain's cap. It was not. Die already? 
Let's get healed up here. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's. Cost me to get the keys, but right, same same amount to get to Scorch Desert. It's an area that I was talking about how pretty it was, and then I turned out my graphics were all the way down. <clears throat> Not all of the answers for investigation missions can be found in the game. That is super, super true. Sometimes you have to leave the game going, hunt down the translations for things. Okay, let's, uh, let's chase a snake. That'll be an easy quest to do. Well, that's not a side quest, so that's a main quest. I'm gonna need side quests. Uh, let's do this one. Wait, no. Yeah, I need main quests, not side quests. Come over here. Again, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Skip. to in theory I need to follow her snake um, in practice I run a lot faster than the snake does so I'm just gonna go out this way and jump off of this wall I think and then I'm gonna run uh, more or less straight to the place I jumped off the wrong wall that was dumb of me. But it's okay. I ended up here in the end. Special assignment received. Initializing. Uh, kill looters. Sure. But yeah, look at how pretty this place is. Bye, Snake. There's my weird monsters. Follow the wisps. Do I actually have to... They're very slow. I'm not going to follow them. Where's some more looters? Got some loot off of some looters. Uh, is there another group of you guys hanging out here? Oh, look at that. Okay, so now. Yeah, see those wisps are. They're just. They take all day. Uh, you don't mess with these guys. I wonder if I can mess with these guys now. Let's, uh, let's find out. first get to this zone, these guys are way overpowered. Here. I think, yeah, he's just gonna keep fighting. <laughs> and maybe, maybe, uh, in a bad way. Because the one 
guys are gonna keep knocking me around. Okay, so they won't pursue me. Okay, the guys that are pursuing me need to take care of them. There we go. Okay, so yeah, don't mess with those guys because they, uh, they're not meant to be fought. They're just, uh, they're decorative. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Where did I end up? Okay, I can go up here. There we go. Our bodies are unworthy of the majesty. Hi guys, how's it going? Why don't you come over here with me? You guys too. Everybody, let's just have a party. Get, get the whole band together. You guys come? You guys want to join Okay, what do we got here? Let's just let's all get together and have a good time. So wrong! I was very wrong! What's up, Mr. Ritual of You guys know better. Two more main missions. Off cooldown that I can do quick. Hello, my do friend. Supply run. Hey. Yeah, both of those are on cooldown. Well, hey. All right. Let's do uh. Do her supply run. What level are you? Ko Avenger level four. Um. You absolutely must, when you get to be a higher level in this game, uh, you owe it to the community to come to Kingsmith every once in a while and help people complete Elm Street Blues. Because you'll get the level 2 and level 4 newbies down here. And the zombies would be picking apart that north barricade and you just gotta help them out. Okay, go to Susie's Diner.
Susie here? Hi, Susie. I'm just here to pick up some foods. Preserve food. Hi. Target the thing. Come on. station local bounty detected initiate uh, these guys when you're first playing the game these firefighters are sort of they're a little tougher than most of the other things you'll run into So the firefighters, you gotta be a little careful when you're low level doing that quest. Now I could just teleport up here, but I mean, I run pretty quick, so it's not like I need to. Those are on cooldown. And I'm really just doing this right now for the, the marks of favor, just to finish a couple of quick quests. Uh, I got 20 minutes before the next one, the next one of those mobs pops. Can I do horror show that fast? Of course I can. Skipping the spoilers. Check the phone book. You gotta be careful in this game. You gotta make sure you check what your objectives are. So the first thing I gotta do is find a camera at the gas station. Look at this view. All of that stuff going on out there. Helicopters flying overhead. <laughs> 
probably up to no good. The janitor's name is Jim Morrison. He has informed us that there are cameras in this basement. Because of course they're in the basement. Spoilers, spoilers. Not really, but kind of. Uh, you can jump over these if you want. You can't walk through those. There is a searchlight up there. As long as you stay on the right path, it will never see you. Just running around the room. that undid the lasers we gotta walk through this walk through this now in here the searchlight moves so we gotta do some metal gear stuff here hide behind things there we go see how it's in there okay so now I'm gonna hide back here waiting for that to go that way and we'll come over here and hide Okay, it's there. I'm gonna come up and see how that's right there now. We're gonna run up here, go across, and I I'm not sure how I managed to get seen by the laser, but it didn't matter because I was already at the button to turn it off. All right, and you need to sit down. Uh -oh, he's dead. Okay, and then I can get my cameras that I came in here for. And this is a sabotage mission. The game has different types of missions. Um, sabotage missions, you have to sneak around and plant traps and avoid traps and that sort of thing. So now I have retrieved all these cameras, and I need to place them. Actually, I haven't done this quest for a little bit. You get one on this corner, which somehow you can reach here. And the last one we're going to put up on this post. And then we run down the sheriff's office uses computer and we want to do station security systems and number one to initialize and there we go we want we can view the cameras you can see that that is the view of the camera we just positioned that it's got oh my uh, that item that I put on the auction house sold that still hasn't that's been there for a while I actually totally forgot about it let's take all attachments da -da -da -da. delete all mail up 
here. I could teleport back to Agartha, but I'm not going to teleport. I'm just going to walk up there. It's not like it's far. It's funny, when you first play the game, you can't outrun the zombies. But by the time you hit about level uh, 12 or 13 or so, you start getting better sprints. And they just... You can outrun just about everything. Oh, good thing I'm in combat. Hi, guys. It's on cooldown. This is a little nicer the tactical belt, but it's only a single pip. Okay, let's do some gear upgrades. Notice now I'm not trying to do my challenge journal, so I'm just going to dump all of those in there at the same time. Take that sword to level 15. That'll be helpful. Let's open up all this loot. What do I got here? Building crusty container key. That's one of these two up here. I don't know which one it was. I Pay enough attention to see uh, what updated. Shotgun of efficiency. Yeah, I'll we'll auction that off. Sell it off cheap. Somebody will be happy they get a nice gun for their low level. Radiant chain. I could probably try to get more money out of those, but honestly, you just don't really need to. Um, yeah, I'm going to throw this whole stack of these away. It's, uh, you know, I don't need tons of marks, uh, so what I'm going to do is auction those off cheap, and then, because they don't, they don't give you any more XP than these, like, these are just trash, like, so, I'm just going to leave that up there, just assuming that I'm going to, yeah. That's a now. Chuck this guy up here. These three. You see how that, uh, with the talismans again, like if I throw this over here, that one is only going to add a hundred, 
but this one that's glowing is going to add 250. So make sure that you're using matching ones. Dump head talismans onto head talismans. Um, if you've got if you've got ones like if you don't have any of these talismans equipped, just sell those off. Um, I mean, you might think, well, should I save them for later when I do need them? Not really. You're going to get so many of them. <laughs> it's just, it's not really going to be an issue. Um, one of the things I like about this upgrading system is you need to put a little thought into what items you're going to use, uh, but you don't really have to think that hard about the actual upgrading. Just upgrade stuff Critical with empowerment results. Upgrade stuff with matching stuff, and you'll be good. And if you don't have matching things that need upgrading, then just don't worry about upgrading. Sell the stuff off. Thing left here. Cool. Okay, and all of these I'm gonna take inside here and sell them to the tiny chef. What's up, tiny chef? I mean, tin chef, whatever, it's the tiny chef. I don't use that, 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 or that. up I don't to see what they do yet. And we got about four minutes to chill out here. Waiting for this portal to open out in six minutes. Let's uh Oh, yellow gloves. Okay, those were an anniversary item I didn't have before. Put them on. Nice. BT. Uh, let's go with that. With the BT for now. Then I'm going to down here. That was the one we saw the one guy running around in earlier. Reminds me of reminds me of Squall Lionheart. that this is an achievement for a quest called Oxford, comma. Alright, where is it? I, uh, I'm not actually sure what I did to get this. I know it's... <laughs> I know it's, it's a Secret World Bundle exclusive that I got somehow, <clears throat> but I'm not sure... I got it. Oh, where is my fun one? Where 
Let's uh, let's be ridiculous. I'll wear that. Is it part of a uniform? Sure. Oh, it is okay. It's a shirt. It's my leathered layers. Oh my goodness. digging this outfit now. And we're in. There's three of these guys I'm taking down in one session. Seem to be uh, in the sky. I don't know what's happening. How did I get here? <laughs> Somebody else in here is asking what just happened. It looks like it's not just me, too. So, well, the eternal fall upwards. Yeah. Yeah, so let's. Uh, Let's die. And let's, let's see if it lets me come back. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> Had to use a slash reset to uh, kill myself off. I 
That was definitely one of the more interesting things I've seen happen. Save that for tomorrow. <clears throat> Towards my mission journal stuff. All right, guys. Well, I am gonna hop off of here. It's been a couple hours. Um, that is sort of when they have the events in Secret World, how you uh, how you sort of run around and what a typical sort of session looks like, I guess. Um, I'm gonna sign off for now, but I am Ail Sean from the Grammar Club, and I will see you later. <laughs>